Butler turning to one of its own. The program hiring Thad Mata, former Butler player and coach, replaces Laval Jordan, who was recently fired. Mata hasn't coached in five years since stepping down as head coach of Ohio State, the program's all-time winningest coach. Started his head coaching career at Butler, was there for one season in 2000-2001, then went to Xavier, followed by 13 seasons in Columbus. Took the Buckeyes to the Final Four in 2007, lost to Florida in the title game. Then in 2012, took him to the Final Four in New Orleans, now returning to Indianapolis. Here with CBS Sports HQ college basketball analyst Matt Norlander. Matt, how'd this get done? Thad Mata returning to Indianapolis to take over at Butler. Well, this came as a surprise to many in the industry, although I talked with a few sources earlier in the day on Sunday, and there are some that believe that Barry Collier actually had this wired uh, for weeks now, uh, if not months. Now, the intriguing thing is I actually spoke with Thad Mata last offseason about if and when he ever thought he'd be able to come back and coach and if he'd want to because he's had a health issue. He suffers from drop foot, and at the time he said, never say never, but at this point, you know, no, not yet, getting better, feeling good, and he spent the past season uh, basically in an advisory role at Indiana. The uh, the information and intel I got a few days ago was that Thad, and this was you know well discussed in the industry, Hakeem, is that Thad Mata might move into an associate AD role at Butler, and that might mean that his former assistant Jeff Bowles at Ohio will get the job. I was told by sources earlier on Sunday that actually a conversation on Friday between Butler AD Barry Collier and Thad Mata changed the outlook of this. Collier convinced Mata. Mata wanted to come back. So it is indeed, and this is from a hiring perspective incredible but um there has been a little bit of pushback around butler and by some others in the industry that collier might have might have botched how he handled this whole thing laval jordan and staff they were waiting for weeks with no word the communication was poor they get fired and then you you know you had brad stevens pushing for ronald norad the former player to get the job jeff bowles thought he was in there and instead it's feeling more like this was wired from out the whole time so a little bit of consternation here with this hire but ultimately butler wants to win basketball games do you predict do you expect thad mata to put butler back on the map I believe so, but because of his health situation, it does make it a little bit of an unknown there. He had to give up a tremendous job at Ohio State because, frankly, again, the drop foot situation and his health, uh, it affected him, his everyday life, the travel so significantly that he had to walk away. And he's obviously, he's, he, he's gone through tremendous amounts of physical therapy. Um, and he wants to coach again. He's really good. He's, he's still relatively young uh, in his early 50s there. So, yeah, he's got a good shot at putting Butler back on the map. The, you know, bottom line, as you said, you're trying to make the hire to, to give you the best possible chance at winning the most games. Thad Mata is an incredible hire. We are talking about a Big East right now. It's hiring cycle. Mata to Butler. Sean Miller returns to Xavier. Shaheen Holloway, oh, by the way, returns to his alma mater at St. Peter. So the Big East has made a ton of noise here with his hirings. I do think Thad Mata is a great coach and the right guy. Uh, the process that, that wound up getting him there just wound up surprising a few people. All right. Well, Thad Mata heading it back to Butler as he returns to Indianapolis. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.